Bottom Zoo is having its annual flea day. Flea balloons, flea drinks, flea light bulbs. Aha! Top of the morning, boys! <laughs> Next stop, gift shop. There it is, Oyster Stadium. Not only do they have the largest oyster held in captivity, it also does tricks. He bit the giant pearl 100 feet in the air, like a cannonball. Why are we hanging around watching a cheap imitation? Let's get over there. <laughs> this is the greatest day of our lives. This is the greatest day of our lives. Right, Patrick. We came to see pearls 100 feet in the air, right? I'll try my oyster call. Climb out of here. Thanks for nothing, SpongeBob. Come on, come on. Wake up already. <laughs> I think it's working. <laughs> hey, Patrick, it's waking up. Oh, boy, did I miss it? No, the show's about to begin. <laughs> Oyster. 
You mean you know the guy who did it? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is great! You and I can go turn him in, and then I'll get so much sleep, I'll be gorgeous! Uh, actually, I, I'm just talking hypothetically. You mean you don't know who did it? Well, I... I... Uh, no! Squidward? Ah! Where were you on the day of today? Don't play games with me, mister! Hey, Patrick, what are you doing? Oh, hi, SpongeBob. I'm just continuing my investigation of the Great Clamu Caper! Um, have you found out anything? Yes! No, wait. Uh, no. But this grain of sand looks pretty suspicious. And so does this rock! And I've got a few questions for this little piece of grass. <laughs> Don't worry, SpongeBob! Patrick's on the case! The truth will be revealed! I'd better go see Sandy. She'll know what to do. Oh, I can't stand it anymore! That poor, poor critter! What kind of inconsiderate person would upset such a gentle creature? Uh, that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about, Sandy. Why, when I find out who caused that oyster so much pain, no more jiggery pokery! <laughs> now, what was it you wanted to talk about, SpongeBob? <laughs> hey, SpongeBob, how come you're all twitchy like that? Twitchy? Twitchy? Who's twitchy? I'm not twitchy. Sorry, Sandy, I have to uh, go get my hair cut. SpongeBob doesn't have hair? Or does he? <laughs> this is it! All of the clues are coming together. I followed these footprints right to this exact spot, and then, right where you're standing, I found this bag of peanuts! Ha! Oh, I'm so close to solving this crime, I can almost taste it. Boy, crime fighting sure makes me hungry, and this yellow popsicle hits the spot! Okay, uh, good luck with all that, Patrick, and uh, I guess I'll see you later. Open up! <laughs> this is the police! Uh, yeah, just a second! Are you SpongeBob SquarePants? Yes. Put those eyeballs back in your head, son. We've got a few questions for you. Were you at the zoo on the day of the oyster incident? Did you or did you not take part in various activities of zoo time merriment? Yes. And are you familiar with this peanut? Yes! Just one more question. Is it true that you were at the oyster's lair with a Mr. Patrick Starr? Yes! Yes, it's true! It's all true! The merriment, the peanut, the Patrick! That's all we need to know, son. Let's book him! Wow, you guys are good. I'm the last person I would have suspected, but I was looking for me all the time. It's the perfect crime. Yeah, yeah, tell it to the judge, Pinky. Oh no, Patrick's too sensitive for the big house. Mr. Krabs, 
has stolen a very important item from the oyster. Behold! Free day! Oh.